Okay, let's factor this expression 8y cubed minus 1. So the first thing I want to talk about again is that list of factoring rules. The first rule of factoring is always GCF. Do the terms have a number or a variable in common? And if you look, 8y cubed and 1 do not have anything in common. You can divide them by to make them smaller. So there is no GCF. So then I would go to my second rule, which is called difference of perfect squares. And that's what I would look at. I'd see the difference sign here. And I would say, are all these terms perfect squares? Well, I know 1 is a perfect square. It's 1 times 1. But 8 is not a perfect square. You cannot multiply the same number to make 8. Nor is y cubed because it has an odd exponent. So the rule difference of perfect squares is out. I wouldn't even look at the trinomial rule because the word trinomial means three terms. So that's out. I wouldn't look at the grouping rule because grouping means you need four terms. So that means on my list of rules of factoring, I leave this rule last because it's the one that's used the least. And the rule's name is sum or difference of perfect cubes. Again, this rule means you need a binomial two terms connected by either adding or subtracting. Well, we have that. I have two terms connected by subtraction. Now, I got to make sure all my terms are perfect cubes. Well, 8 is a perfect cube. It's 2 times 2 times 2. 1 is a perfect cube. It's 1 times 1 times 1. So you have to memorize your perfect cube list. Thirdly, for a variable to be the perfect cube, it has to have an exponent that's a multiple of 3. Remember, the word multiple in math means multiplication tables. If you were in third grade and I said, tell me the multiplication tables for 3, you would say, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, etc. Well, that exponent is a multiple of 3. So now I know I have a difference of perfect cubes. Once I know which rule I'm using, now here comes all the memorized facts. Okay, it's a difference of perfect cubes. It's always going to be a binomial, a small parenthesis, times a trinomial, a big parenthesis. Always, always, always. Next, I'm going to put the signs in first because it's a memorized pattern. If it starts out as a subtraction, it goes minus, plus, plus. The only difference would be the signs. If this was 8y cubed plus 1, this would be a sum of perfect cubes. If it was a sum of perfect cubes, it still would be a binomial times a trinomial, only then the signs would go in a different pattern. If it starts out as an addition, it would go plus minus plus. So you have to memorize that, ladies and gentlemen. So that's why I always make my class chant. Plus minus plus, minus plus plus. Plus minus plus, minus plus plus. Have fun with it. All right, once you get the signs in, now comes the thinking. I need to get the binomial first, and then once I get the binomial, I can fill in the trinomial. To get the binomial, it's understanding the concept of what a cube is. Cube is multiplying the same term three times. So you look at this first term, 8y cubed, and you say, what did I multiply three times to make 8y cubed? With the number, what you had to multiply three times to make an 8 is a 2. And what you had to multiply three times to make y cubed is a y. So that's why I'm going to put in that first spot 2y. 2y times 2y would be 4y squared. And 4y squared times another 2y would get me to 8y cubed. What did you multiply three times to give you a 1? Well, that's easy. Itself, 1. So that's how you get the binomial. You say to yourself, cubing means I had to multiply some term by itself three times. Once you get the binomial, you use these terms to make the trinomial. And I have my class say it out loud over and over again. Square the first, square the last, multiply to make the middle. Say it with me. Square the first, square the last, multiply to make the middle. Square this. What is 2y times 2y? 4y squared. It was first. I put that first. Square the last. Don't look at the symbol, just look at the number. What's 1 times 1? One, 1. 
I put that in the last spot, that one in the last spot. It's the middle that there's no thinking. You take these terms and multiply them together. 2y times 1 is 2y. If you want to check yourself, you know you could do multiplication. Okay? Now, everybody look at this trinomial. It is a trinomial. Is it easy or difficult? This one's difficult. It has a 4 in front. We could do here all day trying to factor this with trial and error or do AC. I will tell you right now, this trinomial will never factor. When you do the rule, sum or difference of perfect cubes, the trinomial you get will never factor. Okay, even if I change this from a difference of perfect cubes to a sum of perfect cubes, I'm going to get the same terms. I just have different signs. What did I multiply to give me 8y cubed? 2y. What did I multiply to give me 1? 1. All right, take this and square it. 2y two times 2y is 4y squared. Take this term and square it. 1 times 1 is 1. Multiply the terms to get the middle. 2y times 1 is 2y. That trinomial, even though you could try all you want, will never factor. And that's all there is to factoring a sum or difference of perfect cubes. Now again, I'll tell you all, it's number 5 on our list because this is the rule that comes up the least. But it will come up, so you have to know how to do this process. Alright, see you in the next video.